as a teenager, you were one of the youngest boxers uh, ever to make it to the Olympic trials. Yeah, to the Olympic, 2004. I was, uh, I qualified in 2003, one of the youngest in history. It's unbelievable. It's one of my favorite times to actually go into a bracket with 63 men as a boy, and I came on top. There it is, It man. was pretty funny, though, because a lot of the men were like, oh, I'm fighting a little kid today. I'm gonna knock him out. I'll be like, I'll see you tonight. And uh, by this point in time, I had left Kansas already. So I'm fighting out of Denver, Colorado, out of this, the Salvation Army boxing, boxing gym. Uh -huh. There was this man, right, and he always watched me. He'd watch me two hours by myself every day. He says one day to me, my name is Ron Lyle. I looked at him and I said, wow, Ron Lyle, yeah, I, I know you are. He says, I fought Muhammad Ali back in his prime. Uh, many people say I beat him. He goes, I, I've been watching you every day for easily a good five months now. I, tell, I told him on the spot, I'm gonna be world champion one day, sir. It's just, uh, you know, it's taking me a little longer than, than, uh, than other people, and I'm kind of down on my luck at this point in time, but I'll be fine. He says, you know what, I'm gonna tell you a story. So he tells me about him going to prison and, and going to the world championships. He says, there's no reason why you, that have nothing, can't conquer the world. So I just kept going for it. Kept going, and he was the big inspiration. He was a big inspiration. So at what point did you meet uh, Robert Garcia? I met him uh, in 2003. I was fighting in the Nationals, and I fought five nights in a row, took the gold medal home. By this point in time, I guess Garcia was kind of keeping an eye out on things. So this, this man finally comes up. He asked me, hey, kid, who, who are you with? I said, uh, I'm, I'm here by myself. He says, yeah, I've been keeping an eye on you, man. You're uh, pretty good. I was like, thank you. Appreciate that. And he goes, you gonna stick around for the worlds? I said, no, 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 no. I gotta go back to work, man. I gotta go to school. He says, no, 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 don't, don't leave. Don't leave. Stay in camp. He says, if I asked you to come out to California, what would you say? I said, send me a plane ticket, man. I'm there. Yeah. And he says, what? I was like, yeah. He says, well, I need some kind of custody of you. I was like, that won't, even, that won't be a problem. And you headed out to Oxford. Yeah. So next thing you know, I'm on, a, I'm on an airplane with custody from my sister to, to Garcia with a total of 25 bucks. Yeah. And uh, three t-shirts and a pair of jeans. Get to California, I remember I landed, I was like, I'm on the airplane, I'm like, what am I doing? I'm, I'm, wow. 